Okay, today we're going to go ahead and build the accelerometer example from chapter 10 of learning iPhone programming. So, let's start up Xcode, select a new project, and we're going to build a view-based application. So let's call it accelerometer, and save it to the desktop. Just open up our groups here so we can see what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do here is build the user interface for the application. So double click on the accelerometer view controller nib file to open it up in interface builder and let's drag some UI labels in. And make these X, Y, and Z. The accelerometer returns X, Y, and Z values, so we're going to have some UI to display all three of these. So let's grab another label and set the default text here to 0, 0. We can actually just select and copy and paste this. And again, so we have our three values here. Now let's grab a UI progress view and drag it out. And copy and paste again, and again. And we're actually going to use these to display the accelerometer values graphically for the three uh, the three different values. And here we can see all the UI elements we've dragged onto the view. So save that and quit out. Um, so we're going to start off in the accelerometer view controller interface file. Going to make this, uh, we're going to make this class a UI accelerometer delegate. Then we're going to need some IB outlets um, for the UI labels we created. Uh, so the X label, just copy and paste there, Y label, and Z label. And again, some IB outlets for the UI progress. Oops. Progress views that we created. So we'll call that X bar. Y bar and Z bar. Finally, we're going to need um, a UI accelerometer object. And that's pretty much all we need to do for the interface file. So moving on to the um, implementation file, let's clean this up a little bit. We're just going to use the uh, view did load method. So we'll keep that, but the rest of this uh, we can pretty much get rid of. Uh, let's tidy up did receive memory warning as well. While we're here, we're not going to use view, view did unload, so let's get rid of that. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we're going to take our accelerometer object and uh, point it at the UI accelerometer, shared accelerometer instance, and set the update interval to be 0 0.1 seconds, and the delegate class to be this class. Then in the dialloc method, um, we've created some instance variables, so we have to release them. Uh, release the x label, y label, and z label. And also with the the UI progress views for x, y, and z. Finally, we have to take the accelerometer delegate and set that to nil before releasing the accelerometer object. Okay. Um, from here, we just quickly nip back into the accelerometer uh, nib file. Um, and let's connect up those uh, UI elements. So we'll take the x bar and connect it to the x bar, 
y bar there and z bar here and then we take the x label connect it to that one y label to that one and z label to that one and we're done save that and get back into the accelerometer view controller um, implementation file and the very last thing we have to do is um, implement the UI accelerometer delegate method that we're interested in, which is um, accelerometer did accelerate. And all we're going to do here is we're actually going to take the values for the accelerometer and display them in our UI elements. So we're going to take the xlabel.txt and set that uh, to the ns string object um, string with format set f and that's the acceleration x value. Then we're going to take the um, x bar uh, progress and set that equal to the absolute value of um, the x acceleration. And we're just going to copy and paste that and do that for y and z. So y and z. And save that. And uh, let's change our active SDK to the iPhone simulator and go ahead and build. And the build succeeded. Okay, so let's uh, hit build and go and start up, start with everything up into the iPhone simulator. And there it is, our accelerometer example, which right now doesn't do very much. Um, this is of course because the our simulator doesn't have an accelerometer, um, so we would have to go ahead and test this on our device. That won't be particularly good for you because I won't be able to show you that to you in the screencast here, but there is a neat trick we can do to go ahead and get around this. So let's just stop things here and um, go to iTunes. And here in iTunes, we have the iSimulate application. Uh, this is um, from Vimov LLC and is actually quite a cool tool for iPhone application developers. This allows you to take uh, multi-touch events and accelerometer um, readings and GPS readings directly from your your own device, your iPhone or your iPod Touch, and actually inject them into your um, application running in the simulator. So I've already gone ahead and bought this application um, from the store. So let's go to the um, uh, their website. and download the SDK. So we want the SDK for uh, OS 3.x and um, just open that up and you can see here that there's a libisimulate.a. Um, let's just drag that onto the desktop for now and we can close all this up. Um, and in the resources, if we right click, we can add a new file to our project. Sorry, we can right click and add an existing file to our project. And select libsimulate.a from the desktop and add and copy items to our destination groups folder. And there you go, we've added that. The only other thing we need to do to make use of this library is um, go to build and 
in other other linker flags. Uh, there we go. We need to add minus objective C to the linker flags. And that's all we need to do. So let's build again. Ah, yes, of course. Um, the other thing we need to do is add um, the curl location framework um, to to our project as the lib simulate make, uh, lib i simulate makes use of the curl location framework. And so let's uh, build again. And there we go. So. Build and go. And you can see that here in the debug console, iSimulate has actually started up and it's waiting for connecting devices. So I'm going to take my iPhone here and start up the iSimulate application. And as you might be able to see, we're looking, it's actually found my uh, simulator instance. And I'm going to connect to that instance. And there you go, you can see that um, here on my iPhone, as I change its orientation, the x, y, and z accelerometer values in the simulator change. And there we go. Um, that was the accelerometer example from chapter 10 of learning iPhone programming.